My name is Jay Milo. I'm the owner of Caribou Springs Watershed Solutions. We specialize in habitat uh, restoration enhancement. We, we do a variety of habitat restoration projects, but here, right here, we're doing is chop and drop. And basically what it is, is restoring a more natural wood load to streams in a fashion to create habitat and enhance the hydraulic condition of the watershed. Streams were altered by loggers in the past because that was the best way to move the large amount of logs to the mills. And the best way for to get those logs so they wouldn't jam up, they would bulldoze the streams and straighten them out and remove all boulders and other logs so none of the logs would get caught. And as they did this, they basically took out all the habitat that trout rely upon. So we want to go in and jumpstart what would naturally happen by placing trees and logs back into the stream uh, to recreate the historical hydrological functions and to get that habitat back quicker. So an important part of the training was Maine Forest Service along with Inland Fisheries and Wildlife gave presentations where the regional biologists and local landowners and foresters were trained to do this chop and drop process. In other parts of the world, they've been talking about wood and streams for a long time, um, particularly in the western U.S. Putting wood in is, is pretty low cost, it's pretty low tech. Um, if you can get the wood to stay there, it seems to change the habitat and the fish respond to that, that change. So this is a treatment site. Force the current to do something different. Force it to dig down, go into the bank, and provide additional habitat diversity. Brook trout have a lot of things out in the world that like to eat them besides people. They actually have a rather high natural mortality rate. So anything we can do to, to increase their chances of surviving on a daily basis and certainly on a seasonal basis is in a, a step in the right direction. Well, 30 years ago when I started, I remember very well a fisheries biologist shaking his finger at me, telling me to make sure that I did not put any wood in the water to disrupt the fish habitat. Now, here I am today learning about putting wood in the water to enhance fish habitat. It's one of the first chuckles I always hear when training loggers on these techniques is, you're telling me to do what? Because for 30, 40 years, We've been really hard-nosed about keeping them out of streams entirely. And now we found that that's not the best treatment for, for the conditions that we're seeing. As we've gotten more uh, data on research and everything like that, we've realized the impact that, that those old practices had. And as we've changed our logging practices to be more environmentally sustainable, this is one aspect that we've looked at that we can actually help out and, and incorporate into normal everyday practices that loggers do out on operations. <laughs>